Hello everybody, I'm Sean Powers and today we're going to learn the difference between hard links and soft links on a Linux or OS X operating system. Soft links are often also called symbolic links, but either way is fine, either soft or symbolic. Both are correct ways to reference symbolic or soft links. So what are we talking about? What's the difference between a hard link and a soft link? Well, it comes down to what they're referencing. So a hard link is basically a file. So this is file one and it references or points to a spot on a hard drive. So this down here is my representation of a hard drive, actually the inode layout on a hard drive, how the hard drive stores data. So file one here points to a specific spot on the hard drive and that's where it stores its data. If you create a hard linked file, like name it file two for example, it's pointing to the exact same spot on the hard drive. Now what this effectively gives you is two separate files that behave just like separate files with the exception that if you make an edit to file one, file two will automatically be edited because they're pointing to that same spot on the hard drive. If you change the data down here that they're both pointing to, they're both going to change. That's just how hard links work. Soft links or symbolic links on the other hand work differently. Now the original file, file one in our case, does the same thing. It points to a spot on the hard drive and that's where it stores its data. When you create a symbolic link, however, instead of another file that points to the same spot on the hard drive, this file actually just points to the file one descriptor or the file one name. It points to the name of the file instead of pointing to a spot on the hard drive. So what does that mean? Well, it means that file two takes up almost no space because all it is is like a, a pointer going to that file. So even if this is like a five terabyte file, if you create a symbolic link, it's just going to be pointing at that and be very small. However, it means if you delete file one, file two will be completely useless because it's going to be pointing at something that doesn't exist. On the contrary, if you come over here and we delete that original file one, file two is still perfectly viable because it's pointing to this spot on the hard drive where the data is stored. So you can delete one or the other of these hard linked files and the data is still intact and it's still there. But with the symbolic link, if you delete the original file, the symbolic link is useless. So let's go to the command line and see what that looks like in practice because it's not terribly confusing once you understand what's actually going on. So here I am on my Ubuntu system and I've opened up a terminal window. Now if I type ls you'll see that there's a file called file1.txt. Hey, file1, that's what we were just talking about. <laughs> if we say cat it will show us the contents of this file1.txt and basically it's just a text file that says this is a regular file. So let's start out by creating a hard link to file1.txt and to do that you use the ln command with no, com no flags or anything, just ln the source, which is file one, and what we want to call the second hard linked file. Let's call it hardlink.txt. Hit enter, get no feedback, but if we type ls minus l now, you'll see we have two files in this directory. We have our original file onetxt or .txt, which is 23 bytes long. We also have a new file that behaves and looks exactly like the file one, it's named hardlink.txt and it also has 23 bytes. Why does it also have the exact same bytes? Because it's pointing to the same spot on the hard drive. Now let's see how that works in practice. Let's actually edit hardlink.txt. Hey, there's that file that we looked at earlier, right? The same data is in there. If we change regular to hardlinked and save it. Now if we type cat file1.txt, you'll see that the text has changed. Up here when we did this, we got this as a regular file. We catted the same file, file1.txt, and because we made a modification to hardlink.txt, the data on the underlying hard drive changed, and so now both of them reference a chunk of text on the hard drive that says this is a hardlinked file. Now, the cool news is if we delete file1.txt, our original file, we can still look at the contents of hardlink.txt and of course it's still there because it's pointing to that spot in the hard drive where that data is stored. So now you'll see in here we just have one file called hardlink.txt. On the contrary, soft links or symbolic links work differently. Let's clear the screen and I'll show you how that works. So here we have hardlink.txt. To create a soft link or a symbolic link to that file, you type you use the same ln command, but now you use the dash s for soft or symbolic. And then you say the source file, which in our case is now hardlink.txt, and let's call it softlink.txt. 
again, no feedback here, but if we type ls minus l to see what's going on, we get this really nice display by ls of what's actually going on. So our, our original file hardlink.txt is still pointing to the hard drive where the store or where the data on the hard drive is stored. However, softlink.txt is not pointing to the hard drive. It's just pointing to the file name hardlink.txt. Okay, now if we cat softlink, it's going to show us the contents of that file because it's soft linked to this location, you know, this this hardlink.txt. The problem comes if we rm hardlink, we get rid of hardlink.txt. Now if we type ls minus l, it gives us it gives us red errors here. Danger Will Robinson. All of a sudden there's something wrong. It's in red text and it says, okay, softlink.txt is pointing to the file hardlink.txt, but that doesn't exist. So something is broken. Right now this softlink is a broken link. And if we try to cat it now, it's gonna say there's no such file or directory. And that's a little confusing. It says softlink.txt, there's no file or directory. But what it's talking about is there's no file or directory that it's trying to point us to. Hardlink.txt is gone. So that data that we had there, since the softlink doesn't point to the hard drive location, it just points to a file name, we've lost that data. So hard links are more forgiving when you delete a file. Soft links take up less data because it's just a pointer. However, soft links don't store the actual data. They just store the location of the original file where it was stored on, you know, the name of the file, where the name was stored. Hopefully that clears things up. Hard links and soft links exist on the Linux and OS X operating systems, and they both have individual quirks, and some are useful in situations where others aren't. Now you understand how they work. Hopefully you'll be able to figure out the best type of link to use in your particular situation. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.